get the Canon G6L something something um, with a Sigma 17.9 cm millimeter lens and I'm like oh god hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Oinkan I'm a Nigerian YouTuber based in Ibadan Nigeria if it's your first time stopping by you are most definitely welcome now today's video has to be one of the most asked questions on my channel and that is what camera do you use to record your videos now I'm here to tell you that I use my mobile phone and I use a Samsung Galaxy S10 plus that is the phone I use just so that you can put the quality in perspective that is the phone I currently used to record my video that is basically what this video is going to be about just me telling you guys the tips and tricks on how you can achieve similar quality very crisp quality using your mobile phone to record your videos for youtube instagram it's the same principle you just want to make sure that you follow all the principles i'm going to be listing and you would be good to go if that sounds like something that you're interested in then you definitely want to keep on watching now before we go on what do you guys think of my audio quality remember if you guys want to my 26th birthday of get ready with me you would see that i mentioned that i ordered a mic guess what guys my mic is finally here and if you cannot notice hi we are using the mic to talk right now what do you guys think do you guys think that the audio quality is better i'm going to remove the mic so that you guys can compare audio quality but yeah this is what our mic sounds like i hope you guys are happy with this upgrade guys this is what we sound like without the mic i know it sounds a bit uh oh, i can't wait to hear your feedback regarding the mic so yeah anyways let's jump right into the video i wanted to start my youtube channel for the longest time i created my channel in 2013 but i just never got around to uploading any videos just because i did not have a camera and all the camera reviews that i was watching from all the tech gurus they'll be like oh get the canon g6l something something um with a sigma 17.9 cm millimeter lens and i'm like oh god i don't know what these people are talking about and then the prices were so ridiculous like they would say and it is so affordable it just costs 1500 us dollars with the lens isn't that amazing but if you look down in the description box you see a coupon code where you can get some coins off when you use my discount code and then when you try to use the discount code you'll find that maybe it's just 20 dollars off and i'm like 1500 dollars 1480 dollars is the same thing i'm a broke child i don't have any money right so that was what stopped me from uploading videos on my channel back when i created the channel and even earlier in the year because i made it my new year's resolution to start this channel whether the devil likes it or not i had contacted my friend and i had asked her to loan me her camera because she used to have the canon 600d and i asked her to just loan me the camera every week i'll just come to collect it once a week i would film and then i would return it back to her but unfortunately she had already given the camera to her sister so she couldn't that arrangement couldn't work so i was just like what am i going to do and then i decided to just you know what make do with my phone and ever since then you guys have just been showing me so much love and support telling me how crisp my um, video quality is and that means uh, so much to me so the first tip that i'm going to be giving you guys is to make sure that you have enough space on your phone filming videos on your phone consumes so much space it's ridiculous you guys will not believe how much space it consumes my phone is um, 128 gig so i don't have space issues but and every time i film i use about three to five gig to film so i would suggest that you have a over five gig if you want to use your phone to film just so that you're not filming midway you're already in the zone and your phone um, memory is full and then you just find that you're no longer recording after you have already finished recording you now see that some clips were cut out so don't do that always make sure that you have enough um storage on your phone if that means you get in an sd card then you should definitely consider getting an sd card just to make sure that your filming process is smooth and simple always clean the lens of your phone because remember it's a mobile phone so you're going to be touching a lot of surfaces your fingerprints are going to be on the lens based on the fact that you hold it you put it to your skin you put it on surfaces 
so the lens is going to have some dust some fingerprints it's just not going to be clean so what you want to do to make sure that your visuals are crisp is to do what it's to clean the lens of your phone it takes your quality from like 20 percent to 1 million percent trust me on this one don't ever start recording a video without cleaning the lens of your phone the next tip that you guys want to do is to make sure that you always test run okay because sometimes you think that you're already recording and the truth of the matter is that you're not so always make sure that you test and be sure that your audio quality is good your visuals are good and you are actually recording because that would be a problem if you have finished recording and then you realize that you never actually pressed record <laughs> that would be such a morale dampener make sure that you are recording in landscape mode this is what landscape mode looks like you want to place the phone like this if you are recording in landscape and this is what portrait mode looks like so if you're recording for instagram or tiktok you can use portrait mode but if you're recording for youtube you want to make sure that you're using landscape mode it just makes your video appear more professional the next tip that i'm going to be giving you guys is to make sure that you steady your phone now you can use a tri iPod or you can just stack on some books anything really but just make sure that your phone is steady it doesn't shake because if you keep shaking 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 you are going to like lose the interest of your viewer because it's not really nice to watch a video that is shaky so you want to make sure that your video is steady so that way you can keep the attention span for just a little bit longer so what i currently use is a tripod i have a tripod that i use to study my video now the next very important point almost as important as filming the process is making sure that your lighting is 100 now i currently use an external light i use a ring light and i'm just using one light source which is the ring light and my phone is in the middle of that lighting if you don't have a ring light you can use a natural light if you don't use a good light source your video is going to be very dark nobody is going to be able to really see you so i'm going to turn off the light just so you guys can see what this video looks like without good lighting so this is what the video looks like whenever there is no lighting you can see that the quality is not so good it looks a bit grainy it's not attractive as it was when there was adequate lighting so that's just to show you how important lighting is i'm sure you wouldn't want to watch a video from start to finish with this type of lighting now if you don't have an external light you can always use sunlight and i'm going to show you what sunlight looks like this is what natural light looks like so if you want to use natural light just literally stay in front of the window that's all you have to do i open the curtains and i'm in front of a window in an empty room in my house and that is basically it you can see how much of a difference lighting makes when you're recording now the next tip that i'm going to give you is to make sure that you are recording in hd if your phone can record in 4k all the better but make sure that you're recording in hd don't recording anything less than hd this next tip is neither here nor there because to be honest anyone works for me is to use your back camera right now as i'm filming this video i kid you not i'm using my front camera just because i'm a bit lazy to you know be going back and forth with my back camera so i'm using my front camera to record this video and the quality is still good so i'm going to show you what the back camera looks like so that you you guys can be the judge of the quality and tell me which one you prefer but to be honest i don't really think that there's that much of a significant difference it just depends on personal preference to be honest although the back camera is better quality but um the quality at the end of the day is not something that would break or mar you do you understand what i'm trying to say anyways let's switch this up so that you guys can see the back camera as this is what the back camera looks like the quality is no doubt better than that of the front camera it just appears more professional and more crisp but i don't know that the quality is such a deal breaker like Mm, if i were recording with the back camera you guys would want to watch it more than if i was recording with the front camera but you guys should let me know down in the comment section let me know what you think is the back camera so much better than the front camera that it's a deal breaker regardless of whether you are looking into the lens and every other thing that we already spoke about you guys should let me know now the advantage of the back camera over the front camera is that you're not distracted by your image like if you're recording with the front camera you're going to be distracted by your image more often than not if you've mastered the art of not looking at 
yourself but with the back camera because there's no screen you are not looking at yourself and you are more likely to look into the lens so yeah that is something that i should say as well always look into the lens of your phone that is the lens right there don't look at the screen especially if you're using the front camera this is what it would look like if i was looking at the screen although i can see myself and appreciate my beauty <laughs> but I am no longer connecting with you guys like look at that and look at this you can tell the difference if I'm looking into the lens it just feels like we have a soul connection like I'm speaking to you yes you directly you but if I'm looking here I look a bit abstract things look a bit abstract like we're not connecting we're not we're not soul touching do you understand what i mean but yeah that is a very important tip so you want to make sure that you're always looking into the lens and not into the screen that is it for this video guys thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you enjoy it hit that subscribe button down below leave a comment share this video with your friends who are thinking of starting their youtube channel thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in my next video bye guys